Hi. During my daily activities at work, mostly I go to work early in the morning and check the results report of the smoke test to make sure that environment is, is up and running and also the application is stable or not for the day. If something goes wrong, I will send out an email to my team members or team friends so that they can take care of it as soon as possible before everyone comes to work for reaching maximum productivity and efficiency. And then I check my emails if there are any important tasks or notices. Also check my schedule and calendar if there are any meetings for the day. And additionally, I check Jira X-Ray to review what needs to be done that day and also on which priority. Then I go to attend daily stand-up meeting with my Scrum team, generally at 9 a.m. Every, every morning. As the Div team members, we participate in the daily stand-up meeting. Also, our product owner and business analyst commonly join us, although, you know, it's optional for, for them. And during the daily stand-up meeting, we are trying to increase our situational awareness by synchronizing ourselves as a team just before starting the work. So all of us briefly provide the answers to uh, three questions like, what did you do yesterday? What will you do today? And also, do you have any impediments? So if any discussion is necessary during the daily stand-up meeting, then we are scheduling another meeting because, they, as you know, daily stand-up meeting is not a detailed status meeting. Uh, actually, that's why it takes roughly 15 minutes. After that, I go back to my desk and start automating test cases from recreation suits. And also, I automate test cases from the sprint backlog after doing them manually if it is passed. <clears throat> Mm, actually, our Scrum team is a total of 10 people. We have one Scrum master, one product owner, one business analyst for developers, and additionally, two QA, I mean quality assurance engineers, test engineers, in addition to our QA lead. <clears throat> Most of the time, I am doing the automation testing in the team. I can say 70% uh, automation testing. Our sprint takes two weeks as a fixed release cycle, and we start our sprints every other Monday to have a general idea about what we are gonna do about the software. And we conduct several scrum ceremonies in addition to sprint planning meeting in every sprint. In the sprint planning meeting, in the sprint planning meeting, we are identifying our goals and describing a set of meetings, artifacts, and roles. We pull user stories and tasks from product backlog to the sprint backlog based on our team capacity and also based on DOR, I mean, which stands for definition of readiness. And also, <clears throat> our grooming meeting starts on the first day of each sprint. All the Scrum members join the a grooming meeting. Our product owner explains the user story to all of us and the user story is listed just under the product backlog and we as the team th members estimate the points based on Fibonacci numbers. In our company, we are sometimes having three amigos meeting with the quality assurance test engineer as myself the developer and the product owner to clarify the scope of the project. And actually, you know, this kind of collaboration among us is just to make it possible to get on the same page and also know what to expect in each stage of product development. And we don't have a specific format for this three amigos meeting because, because of this reason, we hold it whenever we need it. And also, uh, during my daily activities, we are having demo meeting led by product owner, not every day, only uh, demo meeting at the end of each sprint. It takes commonly one to two hours. And this is done especially for the client, 
it's uh, and also stakeholders to show them our completed work so the entire scrum team participate in in that meeting everyone demonstrates the product increment sometimes a business team member or a client or stakeholder asks us some questions and and then uh, in return we answer their questions accepting or rejecting the works are just based on dod criteria which stand, which stand for as you know definition of done all the accepted works are the product increments and any uncompleted or rejected work is gonna ban is gonna back uh, is gonna be sent back to the product backlog and then we go over them in the next i mean upcoming sprint and finally we conduct retro meeting with the team at the end of each sprint for creating improvement opportunities our retro meeting is uh, facilitated by our scrum master and it takes about one to one and a half hours generally and during the <clears throat> during the retro meeting we answer the questions like what went well what went wrong and uh, finally what we should do to improve our team's efficiency and productivity. So all together during the meeting, we talk, criticize and discuss the last sprint. And if something is good and positive, then we keep it to utilize for the upcoming uh, sprint and vice versa. Also, once a week, we have we are having code review meet meetings in order to review the codings, I mean codes. Actually, you know, this is pretty helpful for all of all of us uh, in the team and in the company. Most uh, fulfilling uh, for me is our mentoring sessions, actually, with junior testers and as well as uh, developers in which we train them on automation and sometimes also about non-technical technical is issues and skills. We do this as a brown back lunch i can say and it helps us increase our overall productivity saving the company resources and money but also uh, it gives us the valuable opportunity to get to know our co-workers and at the end of the day i believe that the most important thing to me uh, is the people i work with i think that's all about my daily activities in the company Thank you so much.